particular task is using deep learning. So you put in, uh, you get your particular inputs that you're going to train. So once you get a particular inputs, you uh, populate your particular layers and then it should produce uh, output so that you can be able to have that output and see whether it really goes line in line uh, with um, the, whether it makes sense, whether it actually, if, it, if, it's, if it's bringing out data, whether it act, that data actually makes sense or that sentence makes sense. So you give it a speech in, like you give it a speech file and then through that speech file, it translates it and brings out the text, yeah. Thanks, thanks a lot, Martin. <coughs> I think that sum summarizes what is expected this week. So uh, this week you've been given um, a set of data and this data is in uh, audio files. They are audio file data. So it is very different from uh, the data that you have been working with before, which um, you've always been given a uh, CSV data to work with. So this week we are working with an audio data. So we are expected to um, change that audio data or to transform that audio data to um, to a text. So um, j just like Yabi was explaining in the morning that uh, we, we've got um, um, platforms that uh, do this, like for example, the, uh, the um, uh, Apple Siri, uh, we have Alexa, we have the Google Assist, they're able to take in the speech um, that we have, but this 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 kind of systems they have been uh, uh, they, they they only accept or um, they have been trained with English data. So we, this week you have been given a uh, uh, Amharic dataset, and we also have Swahili dataset. And uh, we we this week you are trying to create models that will help you to check in that speech, uh, the speech data that we have or the audio data that we have, and it transform that um, audio data into a text data. So um, with that, uh, we, I will proceed to, um, I'll proceed to show, um, to show my screen, and then I will take you through uh, just understanding of, um, of the data set or how can we begin um, loading the data and then to understand the data that we have. So let me just share my screen. Um, so I hope that you I hope that you can see my screen. Um, so quick first. Um, I, I would love us to first begin uh, with this one. So um, we we get to understand that. Um, Audio data is very different from uh, the data that you have been working with before. And so uh, the first thing in every um, machine learning or data science is that you have to have your data and then you try to understand the data that you have been given. So um, so in, 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 in this week, we'll be using a library known as Librosa, which will help us to um to to load or to import um audio data sets um as uh, compared to the other weeks where we were using um, the pandas and the csv to uh, actually load our data set so yeah so um here we're just in um uh, installing uh, the speech features that we have and then we install um, the browser. It's just as easy as pip install the browser. So if you do not have the browser installed or the uh, Python speech features installed in your machine, uh, you can just easily install uh, the speech features and the browser using pip install uh, the speech features and also pip install the browser if 
you don't have Librosa installed in your in your uh, local machine. So um, after that, Librosa is what we'll use actually for reprocessing of um, the data set that we have. Um, so uh, I'm not sure if if uh, all of us were able to download the data set that we've been given. I know the data set is quite, uh, it will take some time, it's especially if uh, you are using a slow internet connection. It will take some time for you to, um, to download all the data set that uh, that is there. So uh, maybe let me get a confirmation. How many of us were able to, uh, okay, maybe download the data if suppose you wanted to work with the data immediately. Is there anyone who was able to download the data, the data sets? Oh, Melaku. Yeah, Gezahen, you downloaded the Amharic one. Ah, that's nice. Rafa didn't manage because your connection was bad. Okay, okay, fine. So, um, uh -huh. Kezayan, you can't, you couldn't get the Swahili one. I think the Swahili one was, um, if you go to that, uh, that uh, the GitHub uh, repo that was given, uh, there is a there is a directory that is uh, I think it's named ASR. If you go to that directory, you will be able to get the Swahili dataset there. So yeah, yeah. So so that is that is fine for those who are able to download the the data set to be used. So um, yeah, let's get to understand what, what is it that what is it that we are trying to actually do this week that is in terms of the speech recognition. Uh, the goal of, of uh, speech recognition is to learn how to take the input audios and then we predict the text content of um, the words or sentences that were uttered. So for example, we are trying to learn from are the audio sets, the audio data sets that we have been given, and we are creating a model that is able to understand and say that, um, and tell us that, yeah, this is the, the, the audio set that we have, and in, in text format, this is what it, uh, what it will be or what it will contain. Um, so uh, the input that we have for this, um, uh, this given uh, project is uh, the audio. So. Uh, most of the, the the format that we have for the data set is uh, the dot dot wav dot 12 format yeah so if if you go to that data set um, either the swahili or the ones for um, the ones for for the amharic the data set that we have is in the uh, the wav the dot 12 format and then we we've got uh, the transcriptions of uh, of that of the given data sets um, so the, the the transcriptions of them is in a text file, which is corresponding to the audio the audio files that uh, we've been given. So that 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 one we'll use especially for the training, so that our model is able to learn that for this given um, for this given audio set, this is the outcome of um, or this is the, the outcome text of that given audio. So. Um, so let's also get to understand what is what is uh, an audio data. Audio data is uh, is a wave-like format of data, where the amplitude of the um, of the the amplitude of audio changes with respect to time. So sound is re uh, sound is represented in the form of an uh, audio signal having parameters like the frequency, the bandwidth, and uh, the decibel. So um, you realize that. Uh, the data set that we have been given, um, that we've been working with before, they have always been uh, uh, mostly numeric or maybe the text data. But now we are having um, we are having a data set that uh, is not in a numeric or a text data format, but it is in a, a, a wave format. So for us to understand this, we, uh, we, we get to know that a wave format of a data has the frequency, it has a bandwidth, and it has uh, the decibel. 
the typical audio signal can be expressed as a function of the amplitude and time. So um, when, when, when we get our data set um, and uh, you load your data set and you're trying to understand your data set, you are only able to understand your data set, not just as the, as the audio, but we are trying to represent it to um, something that uh, a machine can, uh, or maybe say, um, let me say, something that um, the computer can be able to draw features from it. So these features that you're talking about include the time and the frequency and the, the frequency and the amplitude that uh, that wave format has. So audio, audio data analysis is about analyzing and understanding the, the signals of the audio that are captured with digital devices uh, with the numerous applications in the enterprise like uh, we can use it in the healthcare, uh, productivity, smart cities, um, yeah. And also, um, yeah, I think I think in the morning, yeah, we talked about uh, also how uh, we are able to use uh, uh, this audio data sets or um, the audio data sets so that we are able to learn something from from them. So sound waves are uh, digitalized by sampling by sampling them in a discrete interval known as sampling rate. Um, so from, from, from this, from this um, diagram here, we can be able to see uh, a, typical, uh, a typical sound wave, uh, how, how a typical sound wave looks like. And if you're able to see how a typical sound wave looks like, then it means that we are able to draw um, given or certain features from the sound wave. That is, we can be able to see how uh, the different frequencies, the amplitudes changes with respect to, to, to time. Yeah. So Python has got um, a great libraries that you can use for uh, this given uh, type of analysis, like uh, the Librosa or the Pi Audio that we can use for um, understanding audio data. So they are also built in modules for some um, basic audio functionalities. So mainly here we are going to use Librosa um, and uh, also we are going to use the ipython.display.audio so that we can be able to listen to the audio, uh, the audio data that, that we have. Yeah, so... Um, um, yeah, here we, we're just trying to understand what is sampling and um, sampling frequencies that we have with uh, with the given data set. So we're able to output here the sampling and uh, the sample the sample rate uh, of this given this given set of audio. Yeah. So uh, when you have your data, it is uh, quite easy to um, to load your data. Uh, it is just uh, Librosa load, and then you, you you load your data that you have. So um, yeah, so after after you've you've loaded your data, you can be able to um, visualize uh, the audio the audio the, the audio data that you have. So by visualizing, we get to understand that uh, when we want to um, get to or to extract the features of of a given data set uh, in an audio format, we get to understand the the given frequencies with respect to time of of the given of, of that of that audio audio data set. So here we are we we are, we are displaying um, the wave plot of this given um, of this given audio set that we downloaded. I could just play this so that we are able to see uh, or to hear and then see the um and then see the display waves so 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 this is uh, uh this is this is this is uh an amharic uh an amharic audio so um here we we display uh using the browser we display the wave plot of this of this given um, of this given audio, so this 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 is the resulting uh, plot of the wave that um, uh, we have for this for the audio that has been has been um, we've played above. So um, 
A spectrogram is a visual way of representing the signal strength, that is the loudness of a signal over time uh, at various frequencies present in a, a particular um, a particular waveform. So not only can one see whether there is more or less energy um, at a given time, uh, for example, if we have maybe the two hertz versus 10 hertz, uh, this, this, this are, this, these are uh, different and we can be able to uh, actually, we can be able to, uh, to visualize or see this, the different strength of the hertz that we have. But one can also see how, uh, how much energy levels um, vary over time. So we, we again, we are going to uh, do a spectrogram of this given, um, um, the given wave, um, wave data that we have just displayed. Um, and so, um, yeah, it's, this, is, this is just a simple code that we, uh, we use so that we can be able to, um, to find like um, the spectrogram of that given, of that given audio. So here we, we are trying to display the frequencies of that given, um, of that given, uh, of the given uh, data set that we've played the frequency of the given data set. And then we also look at the samples. Uh, we sample um, we sample those given frequencies. And then um, now we try to plot uh, um, the, the given, we try to plot the given, uh, the given wave data that we have just played uh, we plot so that we can see the different strengths that they have at different times. So this will be uh, the resulting um, the resulting uh, plot that we have for that given uh, data set. So uh, here we, have, we we plot the hards um, that we have of this given uh, audio file versus the time. So we can be able to see um, the different hards that that it has um, and uh, versus the time um, for for that given data set. So the time was um, roughly four and a half or way past close four and a half seconds. Uh, and um, we can be able to see how the hearts vary um, uh, with, with, with respect to uh, the time. So, um, yeah, the, the vertical axis um, shows the frequencies, that is the hertz, and then um, the horizontal axis actually is the one that is displaying um, the time for, for the given clip that we were able to play. Yeah, so um, dot, uh, it's, this is an explanation of uh, the code above. This, this, this given function here, dot s t f t converts the data into short-term Fourier transforms, and then um, yeah, STFT converts the signals such that we can know the amplitude of the given frequency at a given time. So using that, using the S, STFT, we can determine the amplitude of the various frequencies that are playing at given times of uh, the audio signal. Um, yeah, so... Um, yeah, the vertical axis, just the, the frequencies of the data in, in hertz, and then, um, and then the horizontal is the one that now gives us the, the time. So um, after that, now we get to um, look at the data augmentation uh, of that given, um, uh, of the given data. But before we go to uh, even the data augmentation, I'd love to show us something on, uh, on, on loading the data that um, loading the data that that we have so um, so I think I think um, I'd love to take us through this so that you're able to understand so here um, it's just a simple way in which I was able to load my data it's um, quite simple I import the browser which is the library I'm going to use to, um, to actually um, load the data. So uh, after importing the Librosa, um, I now load my data this way, uh, Librosa.load, and then uh, the path to where 
my my data or my 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 wave data is so we can be able to see like yeah librosa um dot load and then i i give it the path or i pass the path to where i where my 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 wave data is so after that i get to understand like uh, the shape of of my data x dot shape and then i also print yeah the sr and then i get to see that one so um here i import the libraries that um i'm going to use to actually uh, matplotlib to create this graph um or this visualization and then now i plot the audio array um and this is the audio array that um, i have for uh, this given um, data set so uh, this data set was a swahili one i think we'll be able to um, to listen to yeah this given data set i think we can listen and see as you get to understand ni sambili na nusu kwa saa za afrika mashariki karibu kwa matangazo yetu ya asubuhi yeah so, so so that is um one of the sample data that we have so um with that we can be able to see the um the, the this given plot um that we produce using librosa for that given audio file or the audio data that that we have so after that um i display a spectrum using the librosa dot display and then the the specs the, the the specs show the spec show so i get to uh know my spectrum the spectrum of um, this given audio data data set that we just we just played so uh we can be able to see um um yeah the function that we've used for this given uh, data set to uh, actually show us um, uh, the spectrum for for this given for the given audio data that that we we have played yeah so yeah but that will be that in loading loading our data i don't know if maybe someone could have a question on loading data maybe you can see we have someone on a, with a question on loading data Sorry, I've been talking and I was on mute. So um, Michael was asking if we uh, can elaborate for um, about data augmentation. I think we'll be able to do that. So I, I just want to make sure that we are at par in terms of loading data and um, uh, everyone understands what is expected in loading data. Are we fine with the uh, loading data? I could get a quick confirmation just to ensure we are at par. Okay, fine. Thanks, Rafa. So um yes so uh before we get to Michael's question I I would love us also to understand something uh on um the given um or what is expected of us uh, at the beginning when we are loading data So we've, we've already seen how we can load um, how we can load um, audio data 
Um, and now, um, another thing we need to understand is uh, how we load, uh, how, how we load uh, um, uh, the, 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 trans, the, the transcriptions of the data that we, we were given. So there, there, are, there are two um, data sets that we've been given uh, in, in every, uh, like we have text data and we have the audio data. So one thing that we need to understand is we are trying to match um, a given audio file to the, the, the transcription or uh, the transcribed data of it so that we are able to get both um, um, the audio the audio data and its transcription so that that, that will help us in, in the training of um, the data that we have. So with that, um, with that, uh, we can, we can, um, there's this code here in which we, we, we load the transcript, um, the transcription loader. Um, this is a function for that, for us to load those, the transcription, um, uh, of the given, of the given, uh, text files, uh, that we have. So, um, yeah, um, within within that data set, we have uh, we have a folder that is containing um, that is containing the text the text files for the Amharic, so the transcribed Amharic audio files. So we match. Uh, we are trying to match because this one now gives us like now just the transcription, so the text of the transcriptions, and we can be able to see uh, the transcriptions of. Um, of this given um, um, of this given files that we have so with that after we are able to load both um, um, if you're after we are we are, we are able to load both um, the audio files and also the transcription the transcribed files now now we can be able to uh, proceed further to get um, um, to get, um, to match them, like, yeah, for this given audio file, yeah, this is the output for the transcription of it. Yeah, I don't know if, um, I'm not sure if that makes sense. Uh, I mean, like the, ra the right terms to explain it. But I'm trying to place it in very simple, like, yeah, we have the audio files and we have the transcription of it. That is for training our data. So we are able to match both of them this is the audio file, and this is the trans the transcribed file for that audio, audio, audio data that we have. Yeah. So um, yeah. So with that, um, yeah, we can now be able to um, merge the two, where we have the key and we have the target. Uh, by that I mean like yeah, we have. Um, the audio files, which acts as the key, and then the text files, which as acts as the target for uh, for the given uh, for that given audio file. So, like here, um, um, we are using pandas so that we can have um, both our audio file um, merged together with um, the text the, the text or the transcribed file for it. Yeah. So. Um, we can be able to see like yeah it's it has given us like the key uh, the column for the key is the given audio files and the column for the text is the given the given transcribed uh, transcribed audio for um, the transcribed text for that given audio so we are able to match the two pairs um, with this yeah, given code here so pass the key which is the key is uh, uh, the key is the the given web files, the audio files, and the text is the given transcribed files. Yeah, and then we have the duration for each and every um, file. I, I just want to um, get a confirmation that uh, we are at par up to that point.
Um, so Gazahen is asking, um, how do we how do we try to match the text and audio unless we make some preprocessing on either of the two? Mm, okay. I'm not sure if I get the questions very well, but uh, I, I'd love. Um, Martin, can you can you maybe ask your question if you're able to speak? That is so that we can get to understand and see how we can answer. Yeah, uh, thank you. I was asking, uh, how do you do the finite impulse performance filters? Um, well, I, I'm not sure that I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure if Musa, 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 are you on the call? Uh, just one, yes, I'm, I'm on the call. Um, so I'm, I think that would be on the modeling part, right? I think it's. Pretty sure if I got Musa on the last part. Uh, I was I was saying I think what is asking is how do you match? So if you convert the audio to text, right? That's that's uh what you call it speech to text, right? Then how do you know uh, that you've converted it correctly? I think that's that's what is asking. Maybe you can confirm. Martin, you can confirm if that that's what you're asking. Yeah. Yeah, I think that that would have to do with with your modeling, right? Um, yeah, I think probably, um, yeah, you you may have uh, some ways of testing. Uh, maybe convert back, right, to see if you can get the the correct um, sound from the text. But yeah, it will have to do with your with your, how you you do your modeling. Okay, um, Geza Hen. Hello. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can uh, hear. Let me try to elaborate my question. Uh, can you take us through the notebook, uh, Desmond? Um, this notebook or the second? Yes, yes. Uh, the comparison one. The notebook you have comparisons audio and text. Um, here. So here, uh, my question is: uh, We already load our text data and our voice and they have their own feature and they are different in data types. Uh, so how do you directly try to compare the speech and the text unless we try to apply some preprocessing techniques on uh, audio data or text data? This is my question. Um, okay, so um, for, for for the Amharic, I think you, you've been given like, um, um, you've been given like, yeah, you, you are, you're able to, when, when you look at the data, you'll be able to um, match, uh, you'll be able to match like uh, the, the key values and, and the text. I think, I think just in the order in which, um, in which they appear, like, uh -huh. the first the first given audio corresponds to um 
the given text file. Okay. That is for the for training of the of of the, of the data. I don't know if that answers That's your question. Is that for the training? Yeah, that is for the training. Okay, so if that is so, uh, we are going to build some models uh, which can have uh, ex uh, another data and try to test it based on this training. Is that what we are going to do? Uh, please, pardon. We, we build models and we uh, train them with those uh, peer data. Um, so, so yeah, yeah, you see, you, you, you already, you, you've been given your, your training model and you've been able to match um, the audio and, um, and the text uh, file of it. So um, your task, to, your task will be to create a model that now, yeah, takes in um, the audio and gives, um, uh, gives the transcription of it. Thanks, Does that thanks, make sense? I, I catch. Yeah. Thanks. You got it. Yes. Okay. Fine. Thanks. Yes, Musa. Yeah, I was just saying that it, that's material that we'll cover. I think day after tomorrow, so we'll we'll get into more detail about how how to do that. What he's asking now. Yeah, thanks. Yes, yeah, so, so um, the, the entire of today, we, we are just trying to, to look at how, how we can um, load our data and how we can get an understanding or description of our data. And um, yeah, we, we've got to realize that audio data is different from the CSV data that uh, we've been given in the past. So um, working with, um, working with um, um, audio data, um, we we have to um, first of all um, change and get the features of that given audio data. That is the frequency um, and uh, versus the time, um, the frequency versus the time, so that you're able to understand, and then you get to now um, understand the spectrum of that given data, so that. The machine is able to learn and extract features from it that it is going to use um, in um, in in uh, actually um, getting trying to extract features from it that we're going to use in in, in modeling. Getting the speech and transform it to um, a text data. Um, Samuel, you're asking if uh, this given data is in, um, I'm not sure the, the one, which aspect of time you're asking, but I guess it must be here. Um, let me just get a confirmation if, this is the, the, the duration you're asking if it is in second or milliseconds. Samuel? Yes, yes, that one. Uh, this one is, it is it is in seconds. The duration is in seconds. Does that answer your question? Okay, fine. So, um, um, do, we, do we have someone else with a question on um, loading and understanding of data? Well, I can't see any hand raising or any question in the chat box. Okay. So um, I'll assume that maybe all of us are fine with uh, 
loading and describing data. Um, okay, uh, Michael, Michael, are you able to unmute and ask your question again? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I saw on the Google Collab file that it was talking about data augmentation and maybe if you can clarify it more how the data augmentation is working on the sound uh, on the sound data. Thank you. Okay. So um, I think on, on data augmentation, um, uh, we'll be able to learn this tomorrow. Um, I think uh, Anastasia will be able to take us through data augmentation tomorrow. So Yeah, that is that is a tutorial for tomorrow. Is that fine? Okay, fine. So, so okay, Tadese. Do we have anyone else with a question? Okay, um, looks like we don't have anyone with a question. Um, so maybe our tutorial today was short. Um, um, okay, Gezahen, are you able to unmute and then you just elaborate more on your question? Okay, thanks, Nismet. Uh, my question is that uh, I think that we have a lot of uh, samples for different texts, uh, a lot of uh, audio samples. So those audio samples can have their own uh, uh, characteristics, uh, including their uh, cumulative energy, which rely on uh, its their center frequency. Uh, so uh, are we going to use them or? Uh, that they are not uh, relevant for this process. Mm. You're, you're asking what if you're, you're going to use the what the strengths or what? Yeah, the energy, the energy of those sample signals. Like for example, if we try to plot the fast Fourier transform of uh, that signal, we can have the major energy of that sample signal. So are they relevant for uh, our next uh, uh, procedure or not? In case we apply them. Um, you you are going to apply them uh, in um, when when you get to uh, creating your model because those are the features that you're going to extract so that you're able to use those features in um, um, in creating your model. Okay, thanks. Yeah, welcome. Do we have anyone else with a question? Um, so, Michael, you're asking how you can download the data. Um, okay, so um, basically for, uh, I can say you can, you can go to that GitHub. Um, I think, I think the link was shared here. Yeah, this one here. Uh, click the code, download the zip, um, and then delete what you don't need. So that you remain with the, the Swahili and the Amharic um, data set. So yeah, it's that simple. Or maybe you can also just do, you can create another a separate um, file somewhere and then you just do git clone and then you are able to download 
um, um, whatever you need and then delete the rest that you don't need. Does that answer your question, Michael? Okay. So, do we have any else? Anyone else with a question? Yeah, I know, Amal, I know uh, it's, uh, it's a big data. Um, yeah, so that, that's why I was asking in the beginning how many were able to download. So um, I think it requires some fast internet so that you're able to download in a short time. The data is a little bit, it's a little bit big. Yeah, and, and as Yabi said in the morning, um, we'll be able to provide you the, um, the cloud platforms to use maybe from Wednesday so that um, uh, um, the work will be made faster. Do, do you have anyone else with a question before we bring us to an end? Okay, so looks like we don't have anyone with the question. Um, maybe we will end our class here and then we continue with the chat on, on Slack. So um, ensure you're able to create your SS, SSH keys. Um, if you have any problem, you can, um, you can reach out so that um, you get help early enough. Yeah, so that will be that for this class. And um, yeah, we can continue with the chat on Slack. So have a nice evening and let's continue on Slack. So goodbye, everyone.